If you're looking for a budget night vision, we have the solution for you. Don't go on Timo, don't buy a digital night vision. What you need in reality is a true night vision device like what we have here. This is a PVS14, 1800 FOM and uh, white phosphor. This is not a toy, 1800 is the minimum of what we recommend. And for this price, you can get an actual PVS14 device. What comes in the package is the device itself, our own J-arm with a dovetail attachment. Also comes with a mount, fits all the modern helmets with the, with the shroud, and you get the spec sheet. And it of course comes with the included rubber eye cup, and it's all inside this uh, standard PVS14 carry case. Why we have picked 1800? Because 1800 is the minimum for having a monocular. With binoculars, you can go lower because your brain can process two, two tubes into one image better uh, when, it's, uh, when it's lower. But uh, this is the bare minimum. What you have in this kit is everything you need to have it on your helmet. So I'll uh, put this together. You have the uh, J-arm, which attaches to the screw hole on the PVS with the dovetail mount. So we put this uh, mount on the helmet and you have a ready to use night vision device like this. So it has a working helmet mount, a J arm that you can attach to the night vision device. You can flip it up, fold it to the side, bring it down, uh, have it on your right eye, on your left eye. Like any PVS-14, it has a IR illuminator, so when it's really dark outside or you're indoors and there's no light to amplify, then uh, turn it on. Keep in mind, uh, it'll give away your position as well. Also has the rubber eye cup in front with a small hole for use during when it's uh, light or daytime, you wanna test it. It runs on a AA battery. Runtime is about uh, 40 hours and make sure you use non-rechargeable batteries. Quick side note, before we go to the performance, tube inside here is at least 1800, so in most cases you will not need it, so you don't need to walk around with the IR turned on. It's just some cases when there's absolutely no light, you may use it. Now, let's go outside and see how this tube performs. So this is how an 1800 FOM white phosphor monocular looks like. Completely clear picture. It's not really that dark either. It's like five or six hours past the sunset now. We will do a dedicated tube comparison video in a future date, but it's completely viable even for military use. Now we are at a different location, different day. The sun set around two hours ago, so it's a bit more dark than the previous place. And uh, let's take a look at uh, how the device performs. About the weather, it's complete cloud cover, no stars or moon can be seen and uh, we are far away from the city which means that there's not a lot of uh, light pollution either.